Welcome, welcome back everybody to the Search Show 24-7. This is Season 2, Episode 4 of Girl Meets World, entitled Girl Meets Pluto. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, first of all, um, just so you know, I did not see Episode 3 yet, so Episode 3 will be uh, uploaded a little bit later once I watch it. So, with that being said, I really, really enjoyed Episode 4 of uh, Girl Meets World, Girl Meets Pluto. It was really, really good. A lot of great moments you had. Two, uh, one of my, two of my favorite uh, characters that came in this uh, episode. You had Sean, and you had Mr. Feeney. Now, Mr. Feeney probably is probably my second favorite character in this uh, show, in this whole universe, in the Boy Meets World, Girl Meets World universe. He's probably my second favorite uh, character, just f for what he represents in the Boy Meets World universe. So I'm glad that they brought uh, Mr. Feeney in the Girl Meets World universe. It was great to see him. Now this episode, you have, um, you know, Riley really thinking um, about like, life and how um, you can never really give up hope and stop believing in something that you truly care about. And um, that kind of um, reflects on Corey and his life from 15 years ago because he did a time capsule and that's what they're kind of talking about right now. In this episode, is um, they're talking about time capsules, and he remembers that him, Topanga, and Sean, they all uh, did a time capsule uh, back in the day 15 years ago. So, Corey devises up this plan to go back uh, to Philadelphia to go dig it up to see where they're at now in life and where they were uh, back in the day. And it just craziness ensues. I love the fact that, you know, Corey, always being Corey, has to make up this crazy scheme to get Sean to do uh, whatever Corey wants him to do. And it was really, really good. Sean thought he was about to die, and they were, I had this, he had to like this little freak out for a second. And it was a great little gag that, you know, Corey um, made Sean worry. Sean came to Corey, but <laughs> Sean was already in Philadelphia, so he basically came there for no reason. Um, and it was a, it was a good moment. I really really enjoyed it. Once they get to Philadelphia and they find the time capsule, and that's where you get to see Mr. Feeney uh, for the first time. Uh, well, kind of the second time in the series. The first time was like the pilot, but really the first real, real time you get to see Mr. Feeney in the flesh with uh, the, the three main characters. And um, it was just great. Uh, I, it took me back. Like, you don't even understand like how much uh, Mr. Feeney means to me. Um, he is my favorite teacher in the world. Like, like in fake world and real world, he is my favorite teacher. I've learned so much from Mr. Feeney. Um, so it was just great to see him uh, looking just, oh, just, just, when, when, when he says Mr. Matthews and Mr. Hunter, it, it just warms my heart. Um, and he has a he has a great little moment with Riley and Maya, and I, it was a it was a funny moment for me when they actually did the little Feeney, the little Feeney call, and they were terrible at it, just terrible. At the Finney Hall. It was a great little gag though. Um, and them like doing like the whole air thing. The hair. Like it, it was a it was a great gag. But they're terrible at it. Yeah, the Finney Hall is only meant for one person. And we already know who that is. But um, it was a, it was a funny gag. And, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, what else? Um, the only thing I didn't like in this episode. Is the thing that I've been afraid that was going to happen. Ever since they introduced Maya. Maya's mother. And um. And uh, Sean in the in the same kind of episode and whatever. I don't want. I know it's gonna happen. I do not want um, uh, Maya's mom and Sean to, to end up together. I know I might be like I, I might get a lot of hate for this, but I am a Sean and Angela fan for life. I it's, maybe it's because I I know Angela. You know I grew up with Angela and Sean. And, you know, and that's what I know. And I don't want that to be separated just because, um, you know, my, Maya's mom is pretty good looking. I don't, it, was a, it was a good moment that, um, you know, Sean was like going through like the past and how he kind of met Angela and how he was very comfortable with Angela and how they didn't really have to talk. They just kind of just stayed silent and, you know, this, that, and that. And like how he imagined Angela imagines Angela and what he what he thinks she's doing nowadays. Um, I do know, like, Angela is confirmed for season two. I do know that. I do know she will be in this episode. But, man, I know what they're about to do, and, I, and I'm not down with this right now. I'm really, really not down with this. Um, but other than that, I really did enjoy the episode. I do like Maya's mom. Don't get me wrong. I do like Maya's mom. Um, but, man, I don't... I, it's... 
it's Sean and Angela, and and it, that's supposed to meant to be. It, and it broke my heart because Sean always had this envision, uh, and the reason he had he put his stuff in the time capsule is um, that he always imagined like uh, him and Angela being together, being the next Corey and Topanga. And we already know in the world there's only one Corey and Topanga in real life and in fake life. That's only real uh, one Corey and Topanga, but. It broke my heart that Sean always had that aspiration and always had the goal that he wanted Angela and and him to um to be Corey and Topanga to live uh like you know have love and like be together forever and um I I just wanted to be happy maybe Maya's mom would do that but I, I'm I'm not liking this guys I'm not liking this and, and like I said I do like Angela's mom I think she's funny she's cute and um they have they do have good chemistry but you know Sean and Angela had great chemistry and so. That's all, that's all I'm saying. But overall, I, I really, really enjoyed this episode. I like the moment that um, that Topanga and Corey had when they opened their stuff um, from the time capsule with the jacket from the first kiss and the note. And um, I, I do remember that note, and I remember that episode from the Ski Lodge. Um, that's one of the pivotal moments of Corey and Topanga's relationship. They have, like, five like major moments throughout the uh throughout the series of Boy Meets World and that was one of them because when they were at that ski lodge that that um that um, really tested their relationship and their love for each other and how Corey always knew for for the longest that him and Topanga were always going to be together no matter the ups and downs he always knew and it was a time um where Topanga didn't really know she was she was kind of iffy and she uh, and her her faith was kind of broken in the relationship um, so I do like the fact that they brought back the note and stuff like that. I thought it was a great touch, a great moment um, in this episode. But overall, like I said, I really, really enjoyed this episode. What do you guys think about this episode? I know I'm going to probably get a lot of hate from like the whole um, me like being a diehard Sean and, and uh, Angela fan, but I can't help it, guys. I know what they're. I know what you're doing, Disney. I know what you're doing. I'm not okay with it. Um, I do I do like that um, Sean is stepping up with Maya. I, I do approve of that, but um, I don't approve of like Sean and Maya's mom. Um, but I know Maya, that's what she wants in life. And it was a great moment for her having the picture towards him because that's what she wants. And um, I want her to be happy too, but I want Sean to be happy and I want to be happy too. So I know everybody can't be happy in this whole situation. But I do like the fact that Sean is in Maya's life. Being a good role model for her, being somebody that she can kind of look up to and uh, care for and stuff like that. So I do like that relationship. Um, overall, what you guys think? Please like this video, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought. And as always, this is The Search Show 24-7. Be easy.